Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. With all the iOS 13 beta, developer betas, and public betas that have been coming out, I wanted to do just kind of a throwback and kind of have a relaxer for one of my videos, and that is I haven't done a tutorial on the GBA for iOS emulator and Tweakbox in itself, and those both wrote, both of those applications running on iOS 13. So as you can see here, I am currently on iOS 13. I'm on the public beta at the moment. I haven't chose to I haven't chosen to switch over to the developer beta, but uh, I'm actually just currently on the public beta at the moment. And I want to show you guys if you haven't checked this out, or if you are new to the game or new to the scene, Tweakbox. And I want to talk about them and talk about them as a configuration profile and the inter -party, enterprise party applications that you, can, that you can download onto your device. So as we hit the install button, it's going to prompt us to go into settings and to install their configuration profile. And from here, we're going to go ahead and type in our passcode. And then we're going to go ahead and hit install. And one of the cool things with iOS 13 that I really, I really wanted to hit on is if you notice, the pop-up bar for my passcode didn't populate and didn't show, especially as I was screen recording. So this is just a, one of those amazing features that iOS 13 has that I just wanted to show off real quick. But as we're into Tweakbox, if you'll notice that there is a whole section for App Store apps, Tweakbox apps, tweaked apps, paid or hacked apps or hacked games, they have an entire library of applications for your for your pick and just it's an amazing just it's not overwhelming but I would just say they just they have a, an amazing library of applications that you can download from emulators to jailbroken apps to like as you can see here there's Game Boy Advance uh, movie box, popcorn time, PPS, SPP, your PlayStation emulators, jail jailbreak applications like the Uncovered. There's just so much that is within this application that you can download. And even onto their social media apps, you have Instagram plus plus, you uh, YouTube plus plus. They have UFC plus plus, all the above. Make sure that if you do download those applications, that you download or that you download those apps after deleting the original application. So if you're downloading YouTube Plus Plus, make sure that you de you delete your regular YouTube application. Also, their, their games, their hat games, they just have an incredible library of applications like I've seen here. Just, again, we're gonna try, we're actually not even gonna try, but we are going to download and install GBA for iOS. And this is just a classic emulator that everybody knows about if you're again if you're new to the scene if you don't know how to download any game boy advance games onto your ios device this is the best way of going about doing that so gba for ios is your game boy advance emulator that you can download and install again on ios 13 and as we get this notification where it's allowing it or showing us that we need to enable this and trust this enterprise application in settings we're going to go into settings, general, profiles, device management, and go ahead and trust this application. From here, we're going to go ahead and populate GBA for iOS. And as you can see here on an iPhone XR, it hasn't been updated in a bit. That's because Delta, the new emulator, that the new GBA uh, for iOS, SNES, and Game Boy, and N64 application is the one that's being worked on at the moment. This is a little bit of an older application. But if you go into their settings, make sure that you do toggle on their website page as Google, as if you try to search for ROMs within the application, it will just bring you to an error or it will just bring you to a link that isn't an actual website. And then make sure that you also sync your Dropbox. So if you do have Dropbox, make sure that you download that. I'll talk about that in just a moment. Make sure you talk, make sure you download that application, sign up for their, for their service, and then make sure that you sync all your games and your saved data to Dropbox because eventually these applications become revoked. As everybody knows, and if again, if you're new to the scene, these applications will, from time to time, become, you know, unusable, and you will have to re-download them when the when the developers have signed a new certificate allowing us to re-download them again from Tweakbox. So make sure that you back up your data with Dropbox. Now, from here, I'm on a, a ROMs Mania downloading Pokemon Fire Red, and as you can see here, it loads up perfectly. We can go ahead and save from here. And we can go and hit no, we're not gonna download any more ROMs. And as the game, as you notice the progress bar completes, the game finally fades in and you can start playing as you would. No need to unzip your files, no need to any anything like that. So we can go ahead and play the game. And like I said before, these applications have a tendency to get revoked every so amount of days. There's been maybe a, it'll go by maybe about a week 
or two at the most and then eventually these applications will get revoked. So make sure that you do save your progress through Dropbox because you don't want to lose any of that hard earned saved data because this is just, it gets frustrating when you don't save that data. So I can't stress that enough. But I hope you guys did like this video. If you guys did, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys are new to the jailbreak scene or new to this scene of downloading configuration profiles and installing enterprise applications like GBA for iOS. And leave those comments in the comment section down below. I would like to know that as well. But again, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.